Hey, so before I go head out and get drunk, um, I would like to officially announce for the rest of summer 2021, I am repulsing <laughs> the question, are you single? I am. Um, this dating game has pee in it. A little slight hint of feces and people don't know how to be honest. So I'm gonna just keep it player because men can't seem to do that. <laughs> so when you ask me if I'm single, I'm gonna say, why? You can't fight? Is your trigger finger broken? You don't know how to shoot? I'm not understanding. <laughs> um, you can keep your 16 holes on standby in the background because I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah. Until we get to a point where I feel like we're building and we have agreed to exclusively date. <laughs> I'm outside. <laughs> I'm the streets. The streets are calling my name. The streets are calling my name. The streets are calling my streets are calling my motherfucking name. All right, family. So let's deal with this video, okay? First of all, can you blame her? If you're out here trying to look for a compatible partner and people are lying to you, they're being deceitful, they're telling you they're only dealing with you, but they're not, you finding this stuff out down the road, first of all, what you see is time wasted, you feel played, you feel used, you feel lied to, you feel tricked, you feel like there's too many games. She said, I'm going to keep it player. Now, I, I will continue to weigh my opportunities until we build and I have some time to know that, you, that you're somebody. And that does take time, right? Um... It takes time to know that somebody's somebody. Like women are taking a huge risk when she says, I'm going to be feminine with you, sir. I want to be with you in your life because she has to trust that man is going to stay focused on his mission or, or a mission and keep being productive in life. She's going to have children with him, which will mean ultimately he'll have to make more money if he doesn't make a certain amount right now. So she's expecting him to grow as a man, grow as a person. And if he doesn't display any of that, then why would she commit to him? You see what I'm saying? Like, um, a lot of times in relationships, you have men out here who do play. They act like they are single and they'll do this because they want the woman to stay uh, just theirs alone. Uh, they kind of trying to save her. They, they see she has good qualities and, you know, they don't want to take the risk of her being with someone else. So they'll try to make her feel like they're more serious, even when they're still weighing their options and not sure yet. The thing about it, family, her, what she's saying, what she's getting off to, I understand what she's saying. Um... I'm going to keep it player. I'm going to keep weighing my options. And many men come to this conclusion too. Uh, they decide to keep it player. And I, I want to explain to you guys the, uh, the, the factors that, that occur when you keep it player. Okay. People will assume that you have low discipline. They'll call you a whore or a dog. Okay. Because if you're dating multiple people, especially if you're sleeping with them in her case, she will begin to lose value because men talk and men do uh, weigh your past against your future when it comes to sexual activities okay now when she says i'm for i'm for the streets i think like she's going too far she's probably joking but don't go that far always still practice your discipline practice being feminine with the men that you are dating practice getting to know them of course um but don't give of yourself to the to all of these men that you're dating uh simply because it does come off as low discipline and you will be looked at you know a, as lower value and you'll probably even not like yourself much and that's what happens you like, i gave you this and you didn't give me back what i wanted and now i feel used i feel abused i feel low value and that's typically what ha typically what happens but let me just say this family you you are welcome to do whatever you want in this lifetime experience okay uh you are i am if you want to go pursue countless relationships without having discipline and not pursue legacy or anything like that that is up to you me however I pursue legacy. I do everything with intent and purpose. So I don't sleep around uh, with no purpose. So a lot of men will will say they're playing the field. They've been in a relationship for a period of time or whatever the case may be. I'm not ready for it to be single. So I'm not ready to be in a relationship. So for them, a lot of times it means just do whatever you want. But that low discipline can come back to bite you. You can have children with women that you don't know how they think. They may weaponize this child against you. Um, you could have a child with a woman, period. And that go against um, what you're trying to build as far as your legacy, if you do have purpose. And if you don't have it now, you may have it later. And you don't want to have a lot of kids uh, outside of your, your home um, when you're trying to build your legacy. You know what I mean? So if you're dating for legacy building, you're trying to have, say, hey, hey, wealth is cool, but I want my wealth to be in my ancestry. I want to marry the right person, have children with the right person and raise my children with my intellect. OK, and teach them how to be better for the world, teach them how to be self-sufficient for the world. And that will be my ancestry. If that's your goal, then don't forsake discipline. Don't forsake your purpose so you can so you can have fun. And don't get me wrong. It's pleasure in that. 
uh, it seems that when you lower the, uh, the expectation, you lower the risk factor of you getting hurt. So you say, Hey, I'm going to keep, you know, dating or keep many people, uh, in my life because man, when I drop people for someone that opens up all these doors to be hurt, I get it again. I get it. She says, I'm going to keep it player. And this is to protect herself from, from what she's been going through people lying. Um, again, keep it player for, for a lot of men who are able to pick up women who do. She said, you can keep your 16 hoes and I'll keep on, you know, entertaining who I have. So for a man who, who can have 16 hoes, he has to have what you call game. And I want to explain something to you ladies, okay? The reason they call it game is because you guys do play games. I really want you to, don't turn off the video, but you do play games. You play hard to get. You will act like you don't like him when you do. You won't call him when you want to. You won't text him when you want to. And he's always trying to figure you out. And so... He has to have game because he knows you're playing hard to get or he's supposed to at least assume it and keep trying even when you turn him down. He's supposed to jump through all of your mental hoops and that you and your friends create and uh, all your shit tests and things like that. And again, family, this is this is games. And so um, dudes be playing. Don't get me wrong. He's a player when he's juggling multiple women and he's lying to her and saying that he's more serious than he is and acting like he don't have any other women and uh, all this type of stuff. And even he does the same thing. He'll play games. He'll play hard to get. He'll know that he really likes her, but he won't tell her because he'll say it'll go to her head. Or So we all live through love or fear. And so living through fear kind of looks like playing hard to get and playing games. Living through love actually looks like telling somebody how you truly feel. And then basically what, what you'll say to that is, oh, you catching feelings. But I mean, aren't you supposed to? Isn't that the goal? But no, neither here nor there. When it comes to playing, yes, guys play, but women... Y'all will play a man and he'll be the only person y'all dealing with. Y'all play a man and there's no other man in your life. You just playing him. Like, it's like a game. Like y'all playing each other. You're playing him to gain points to keep him away from you. But he wants to get with you. You want him to get with you. But you also want to make it seem like you don't want him to get with you. Like for men, that makes men say, I'm tired of games. I'm just going to keep on juggling. I'm going to keep doing what I do. Because every time I get serious with a woman, she does this to me. Men feel like. As long as I say I'm not serious, I have her attention. The moment I say, hey, look, I'm looking for a relationship, that's when they start playing games. That's when they're not looking for a relationship. That's when uh, I got to do all of this to prove myself to them. But when I was just out here playing games, yo, she just, she was just, they was throwing it at me. And you, listen, ladies, we got to have a real conversation because I understand your plight right here. Dudes don't be serious. And if you lose your value when you have sex, you should take your time when, when dating a man, courting a man, because if you're sleeping with these men because you believe they're going to be uh, actually interested in building a relationship with you, um, sooner or later, you're going to have a high body count and you, and you were being sincere the whole time, trusting them. And if you keep trusting them, you're going to keep end up being somebody's body count, you being a body. So you got to say, you know what, enough for the games, but does it really mean I'm for the streets? Because now you're going to say, OK, well, let me just really wreck my value because dudes are going to do that whether I, I want to be serious or not. So let me just intentionally do it. And that's what it sounds like. And so when men say, listen, when I was out here just trying to get some, man, I'm, I'm saying whatever I want to women and they're actually buying it. They're liking it. They, women are sleeping with me anyway. But now that I'm out moving with purpose and moving with intention and I say what I'm looking for and I'm saying, hey, I'm looking for somebody solid. I'm really wanting to build a relationship. I want to share my life with somebody. Now, all of a sudden, women are introducing their fears to me, but rightfully so. It's when men say, I want something serious that women feel the trauma because that's when they get hurt. What trauma are women feeling from men saying, I'm not interested in anything serious right now? Typically, when men say that, hey, they're letting you know, don't get your expectations up. Don't worry. But if a man says, hey, I really like you. I'm really digging you. I'd really like to build with you. Therein lies the trauma and the fear. So when a man says he's serious, that's when y'all get afraid and start living in y'all uh, fear. Literally. Hey, I, I really like the guy, but I'm going to pull back and 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 because I don't want him to think I'm, I'm I'm a certain type of way. And I really like him. I really want to do things with him, but I don't want him to think that I give it up too fast. But with the other guy that you didn't like like that, you didn't expect that from you did do all, you did all of that. And the guy who's really trying with you, he feels like that's a slap in the face. So he'll be like, you know what? I'd rather be the guy that that told you he did, that, that, that treated you like shit and you stuck to him like mud. I'd rather be that guy because it seems like when I'm all lovey dovey on you, that's when you take off like like Laura from Urkel. You see what I'm saying? It's like and that's that's what men go through.
As soon as we say we're single and we don't want to, we don't want, we don't want no woman, all the women throwing it at us, man. But as soon as you looking for a woman uh, and actually have intent, yo, you can't find her. She becomes very elusive because she starts saying, hey, is this man really serious? Is this man really trying to be with me or is he just one of those ones playing games? Because it's, it's became to the point to where women will be so traumatized that men lie when they say they're serious, that they will typically look at that as a red flag. If a man say they're serious if in their mind they've conjured up that it's too soon for him to say that or that when men say this, they're lying, that's a red flag. So when a man says, hey, I'm really taking you seriously, I want to be with you, I'm really trying to get to know you for real, for real, to her, it's like, mm, I'm going to chuck him to the side because he liked to play games. Why don't he just really, truly tell me what he want? Because in her mind, it's like, I know what happens when dudes say that. You see what I'm saying? So in her mind, she's like, look, I've been out here and dudes will tell you they're serious and you'll take them seriously and then look at what happens. They actually still had all these females they were juggling. They weren't, they didn't actually cut these women off. And men, don't say it if you're not ready. Just because you really like her, you know, don't do that. Because to, to her, it's like, now, why should I be serious? Why don't I just keep dating all of my guys? But she doesn't realize that if she responds to how she's being treated in, right now and the way she's talking about, it will hurt her in the long run. It don't make her a bad person. She's only responding to the pain. She's only responding to her reality, but... We must always try to keep in line or keep in line with our purpose and mission. And we must not be a certain way because people are treating us a certain way. And that's why I say to men, if you got women who use you a lot, who try to get over on you a lot, you don't stop being you. You start vetting better. Stop spending so much too soon. Stop seeking her validation through these things. Live inside, live in your game, live inside of your charisma. And you gain her attention and affection through that first before you start to spin. And that way you're not living in fear. Don't move in fear. Take her to places that don't cost as much because if you take her to a place that costs a lot and she likes you, you're going to think that's why because you're traumatized. We've all been through it. And that's why I say, guys, we have to take the approach to heal ourselves uh, because whenever we try to say, hey, this is what reality says. Let me just start conforming to reality. Trust me, man, down the road, you may regret that. But if you stick to your own plan and philosophy, uh, likely you won't look back and regret that. Will people use you? Will people lie? Yes, they will. But when they do, you stay who you are. You keep growing and you keep building. If you are a woman and you're and you're dating, hey, you learn you learn the guy's missions that they and look for consistency while you're dating them. And the guys that you're serious about, treat them like you're serious. You don't actually have to say it because that may bring trauma. Guys, treat her like you're serious. You don't actually have to say it because that may bring trauma. I always try to encourage you guys treat the person like you feel about them. They shouldn't have to ask you and be all aloof to how you feel about them because you're hiding it. It's like eating something that tastes good and you know you want to say, mm, 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 but you feel like if you do, the food going to get full of itself. Like, that's weird. If you're enjoying someone, tell them you enjoy them. If you miss them, tell them. Telling someone you miss them is, is good communication to let them know that they pleased you the last time you was with them. So saying I miss you means that our last encounter was great and that's validation. That's not trying to seek attention and, and seek validation. You're actually validating them when you say I miss you. When you say, I miss you, you're not seeking validation. You're letting them know, I missed your presence when you weren't here because your presence brings me joy. So, but but if you say that, you feel like you're losing something. And if you're going to be that way, you're the one that's playing games inadvertently. You might not be saying, I'm trying to play games, but you are playing games. You're not being serious. You are lying to the universe. If you If you can tell God, you want happiness and you want love and you want this certain specific person in your life. Why can't you tell that person? Why would you shuck and jive and lie and be deceitful to the people around you, but then go be honest with God? That really be bothering me. I'd be like, if you guys really want to be something or, or aspire to, to accomplish something and you will tell God or your higher self or say this in your private place. But when someone asks you what you want to be or what you want to do, you'll say something else because you think they might judge you. But that's your opportunity to be honest. Like every person around you is a reflection of what you call in God or higher self or or your secret place. They are only coming to you to validate if you truly want it. And your opportunity is being blown every time because you don't really truly believe in your dream or believe that you can have it because you're not comfortable saying it out loud. The person you want to be with, you're afraid to tell them. But why? So it's you who align to the universe, and that's why you don't get what you want. I get people have hurt you, but you always be honest with the universe, and you move exactly how you want to move, and don't let anybody change that. If they can't handle who you truly are, so be it. I encourage men, if you really like her, let her know early. A lot of people say, don't do that because she'll, 
she'll run off. Listen, do that because she'll run off. Don't waste your time. If you giving her the validation or you tell, confirming that you want her in your life makes her run off, do it as soon as you can. You understand? Because you want to know that the that if she, listen, if she was the right one for you, right one for your path, had her head on her shoulders in that right moment, she's not going to run from that. You understand? So don't say I'm not going to tell her anymore because now you now that one woman that comes into your life, you're now adjusting to all these past anecdotal experiences and you're projecting all that on her. Now you're saying, if I tell this woman how I feel about her, she's going to take off. And that could be that one that's saying, man, listen, I really wish this man would tell me how he feels about me because I really like him. But I don't want to tell him because, hey, I might run him off because, hey, I know what happens when you tell dudes how you feel about them. They tend to think they got you right where you want them or they tend to uh, think they have you wrapped around their finger or they tend to get dissing and say that that girl's clingy. Let me get away from her. She expressed feelings. Oh, icky. You see what I'm saying? So family, long story short, I understand where she is coming from. But please understand when you take it too far and say, I'm just for the streets or men say, I'm just going to knock them down. You can have children through that. OK, you can ruin your reputation through that. OK, bringing all these people in your life and these energies in your life can distort and ruin your vision and your purpose. OK, keep these things in mind, family. All right. Be evolution. Be the change that you want to see. No candle loses its flame from lighting another. And if you were to ever find yourself in the middle of chaos, it is in that chaos that you have found yourself. See, in her chaos, she says, hey, this is what I'm going to do. And in that moment, she's like, hey, I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of men being deceitful. So. Here's how I'm going to respond to it. And in that moment, she found who she's going to be in that chaos. I'm just going to continue to date multiple people. I'm also going to lie to them. You know, I'm also going to just be player like them because I'm tired of being hurt. You see? All right, family. Peace.